I did not think we were going to be filming this video until way later this month, but we're at officially Spirit, you probably can't even see it. We're at Spirit Halloween and I am so excited because one of you guys were posting on Instagram, you're like, I'm at Spirit and I was like, our Spirit isn't even open yet and I'm like, I am so stupid. I just moved. I live in a new area. There's probably a new spirit. And sure enough, the one out here is open. So we're gonna do a walkthrough. They're not even open yet. Uh, it's 11.53. You guys know how I am about people. I don't like being around a lot of people. And I'm like, the minute they open, we're gonna go in there. We're gonna see what they have. I'm really looking for Hocus Pocus stuff. I'm going to do a Hocus Pocus yard theme video. I also totally forgot to say hi if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are just so excited about talking about spirit like we're just getting right into it. If you haven't already please subscribe for future spirit videos and Halloween all year around because we stay spooky 365 days of the year. Back to what I was saying um I'm gonna do a hocus pocus theme in my front yard this year and they have so much Hocus Pocus yard decor this year. They got like Emily Binks's grave with Binks on it. They have um, Billy's gravestone, which I feel like they always have every year. They have um, like some panels. I don't want to call that garland because it's not garland, but like the panels that like you put by your front door. They have that. They have so much stuff. I'm trying to go in with low expectations. I did go to at home yesterday really quick because I was like, I need to find my black Halloween tree. You guys, I am so sick of at home because they didn't have it out yet. And they had their Halloween decor out, not all of it, but I just, the stuff that they did have out, I wasn't feeling, it wasn't really my fave. And to me, it's not worth the 30 minute drive to go out there unless you guys really wanna see it. If you guys really wanna see it, let me know and I'll definitely do it if I have enough people that say they want to. But other than that, I'm kinda like, I'd rather spend my money at Spirit. I would rather spend my money at Home Goods, at TJ Maxx, you know, new places like that. I'm gonna quit jabbing my jaws. We got about four minutes until they open. And then once they do open, hopefully we'll be one of the only ones in there. And we can kind of look at everything. I'll try to film as much stuff that's like film worthy. Probably do a haul at the end of this video, de depending on what we find. you guys literally when I stopped the first clip of this video there was a couple parked behind me they were super nice like we kept like bumping into each other but not only them a car full of kids walked in a ton of people walked in I'm like okay so apparently getting there right when they open doesn't even matter but I tried to get as much footage as I could, as many photos as I could. I didn't want to look like suspicious or anything. Like I'm always like afraid of that. I'm like, I'm going to pay for everything. I promise. <laughs> they had a lot of stuff. They had one of the things I really wanted, which I think I got footage of it. I'm not sure, but it was like Billy's head from Hocus Pocus because I'm doing a Hocus Pocus theme this year. So, but here's the thing about it was I was like, if I get this, I'm going to want to like put this up like right now and I was like no just wait you have plenty of time and the workers said they're getting in new stuff every single day so we'll check back like there's more people walking in they had a really cool Beetlejuice line you guys I just saw Beetlejuice for the first time yesterday and it was cute it wasn't like my favorite kind of didn't really like the ending to be honest but it was cute. I liked it. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was a movie I could watch like once a year. 
they had a really cool Beetlejuice line, a really cool Hocus Pocus line. They had this kind of mystical witchy line that I feel like they have every single year. They had the gravestones, the tombstones. I feel like the Hocus Pocus one with Binks on it, they didn't have that in yet, but I'm like, there's still plenty of empty space. Like they had a Hocus Pocus doormat, but it wasn't the one I wanted. And I was like, you know, there's still like three more racks that are empty. So I'm just going to wait. But they were a lot more stocked than I thought they would be. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the air. It's like just about 90 degrees outside. It is very hot. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. I just saw a little kid. He literally had the like little Grim Reaper staff. And he just walked, just about walked out of the door with it. And his mom was like, put that back. <laughs> like you could tell she was, okay, that was distracting. Had a really cool trick or treat line. The shirts this year, I'm not too impressed with, if I'm being completely honest. But again, they're gonna get more stuff in, so we'll see. It's still very early. Like I said, the Spirit in Memphis isn't even open yet. So, you know, he, I guess he did buy the Grim Reaper staff, okay. Okay. They had like a Hocus Pocus section, but it wasn't even full yet. It just had like some of the costumes and stuff. It wasn't like any of the cool shirts or anything like that. Oh, they had a really cool spirit line, like spirit Halloween line this year. And um, I got a picture of one of the flannels. I may go back and get it, but it's like orange and black. And I want to say it says like stay spooky or spooky or has like a jack-o-lantern. It says something like that on it and that was really cool a lot of cool stuff and they were way more stocked like i said than i thought they would be so i was very very impressed by that i'm sure people are staring at me wondering like what the hell is that girl doing she's talking to herself to pick up a few things i think all of them are actually hocus pocus themed so once we get home in the ac i'm going to show you guys what I got. All right, you guys. So I have made it back home from Spirit. I think I only spent like a total of like 30 minutes in that store, but there were a lot of people in there for being early August, but maybe it's COVID or something. Everyone's just ready for something happy. I mentioned before, I'm doing a Hocus Pocus theme this year for our front yard. And I only got a total of three things, you guys. And this was $70. Like, and they're not even big things. They're not even, I mean, maybe, kind of, sort of. I don't know, but I really, really wanted it. So I got it. And we're definitely gonna go back. I'm uh, holding out for the Hocus Pocus tombstones. And of course we'll do a decorate my front yard with me video. I was thinking, I do have a Halloween wreath, but I was like, oh my gosh, I would love if I could find a Hocus Pocus one. I looked on Etsy and they were either really expensive or I just wasn't like crazy obsessed with them. My bangs keep, look. So I saw this at Spirit and I was like, I gotta get it. And it says Hocus Pocus with the three witches on it and their lips and a black and white striped bow. And then the bottom, it just says, welcome. With, what symbols are these? Huh, I don't know. I don't know what kind, that's just a random thing. But how cute is this gonna be <laughs> on my front door? And this was $22.99, which I thought, oh, it's probably gonna be like $35. So I didn't think that was a bad price. I kinda wanna go ahead and hang it up now. The next thing I got, oh my gosh, you guys, I saw this and I saw this on the website and so basically in the winter time sorry I'm trying to unwrap it uh I drink hot coffee and in the summertime I drink cold cold coffee I was like wait did I say that right yes so since it's gonna be hot coffee season very shortly I decided I needed this and I don't have too many hot coffee drinking cups Especially since the move, I think I lost some of them. Just, <laughs> who would not want this on their coffee cup? I think they also had a mug, but it's the Winifred Sanderson glorious morning <laughs> quote. And I just loved it. And then it just says from the movie Hocus Pocus. And the top is rubbery, which I don't know why. Can any of you guys tell me why it's rubbery? 
I don't know that much about coffee. I like recently started drinking coffee. It is hand wash only and you can't microwave it, but I would only be taking this to work. And as long as I can put like hot coffee in it, I think I'm good. Um, but I just saw this on the website. I was like, please tell me they have that because I gotta get that. It's so cool. That is, I think I just ripped the tag off. $14.99, which is not that bad for like, it's like pretty sturdy and durable. So I cannot wait to use that. The last thing I got was another item that I was really hoping they would have. And it is this Hocus Pocus door panel. Is that what it's called? Yes, decor panel. I think before I was like Garland. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, but it's so freaking cool. And yeah, it just says Hocus Pocus, really cute. And I was like, this is gonna look really cool on our front door. I think what I'm gonna have to end up doing because our front yard is kind of weird. It's like, our yard kind of keeps going. Like you think it would stop, but it doesn't. It kind of goes around this corner. So I think I might have like a Hocus Pocus like kind of section and then like, or maybe like mostly Hocus Pocus and then like a section for like all the inflatables and stuff like that. Um, let me see if I can like get one of these out just to kind of show you guys. This is Pocus. So you're not gonna be able to see the whole thing but just to kind of see a little bit of what it looks like. And the Sanderson sisters at the bottom. I really like it. Honestly, I might end up hanging these up in my spooky office because I don't think I wanna put these outside just yet. Like I kinda of wanna do everything together so I can film that video for you guys. Um, but that's really cool. I think it's perfect and it's got the old thing to hang it. So I'm so excited to hang these up. That is what costed me $70 at Spirit. So, yeah, no. We'll go back and get, like I said, the tombstones and then like a doormat. And those are kind of like the last things that I'm kind of thinking about getting. And then maybe like some purple string lights, but I'm gonna wait till Walmart puts that out. So that is all that I got from Spirit today. We will make another trip. I'm sorry if this video was kind of bad and there wasn't a lot of footage. It was just really hard because like literally everywhere I turned, there were just like people in there. So it was really hard for me. Like I didn't want to be like that person. That's just like not considerate of other people trying to look. So, but they had a lot of cool things and they're still getting a lot of stuff in. So I can't wait the closer it gets to Halloween. And since we don't have an HOA this year, I'm like, I could put our Halloween decorations out in like September or like very end of August. I could easily do that. Stop jabbing my jaws, just rambling on about Halloween. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will continue to do more of these and hopefully I can get better footage and more pictures. We'll go on a weekday or something. Maybe that would be better, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've already been to Spirit Halloween and you've purchased a few items, what have you purchased? What are you looking forward to? If you're gonna do a yard theme or even like an inside house theme, like what are you doing? Are you just kind of doing random stuff? Let me know in the comments below and until next time, stay spooky. Bye guys.